Hey guys and welcome to this week's case studies and reviews. Over the last few months I've had a number of members ask me about eBay and about potentially selling sites on eBay. So I thought we would have a look and see what is actually happening. Now in the past I have tried to sell one or two sites on eBay and always done very poorly. Sites have always ended up going for nine ten dollars uh, i think i once sold one for twenty dollars but nothing really to to get excited about but i thought it'd be worth revisiting because as i say i have had a number of members ask about ebay so let's go and have a look and here we can see that i've got ebay.com up and if we if i scroll down we can have a look at the settings just here I've selected the format of all listings, I've gone for worldwide and brought up all the sold listings that eBay can show over the last few months. So it always pays to keep ahead of what is happening because things do change very rapidly as I'm sure you know on the internet and eBay could be a good site for selling websites but I think as we go through we'll see that actually that eBay still isn't a, a great site for selling websites and that Flipper is still the best site but let's have a look and see if there's anything we can learn from eBay so as we look as you can probably see the first site we come to that's sold is a classified ads website fully installed two months free hosting one bid 99 cents so it's not particularly encouraging next site we have a look down make forty thousand dollars per month actually that's a typical ebay headline established internet website went for twelve dollars uh, it obviously doesn't ring true and I think on Flipper uh, you would be very quickly pulled up if you made that sort of claim that you were selling a website that was going to make you $40,000 in a month that's a, that's a big claim let's just have a, a look at it and see if you, there's any justification within the auction description as to why he thinks that site would be making forty thousand dollars in one month i mean clearly it's uh, here we go takes a long time to load so he's obviously gone very heavy on the graphics yeah here we can see a massive big welcome and it's still loading up uh, here we go if you're going to make claims of forty thousand dollars a month you really need to be able to justify those here we go he says a hundred and forty thousand dollars a year no joke now uh, before you go out and rush and buy this website uh, let's have a look spent forty thousand it's giving you a hundred and forty thousand years hundred and forty thousand dollars a year on a plate balls in your court and then it goes on to say if after seven days you aren't happy I'll give you a full refund And he talks about no one else on eBay offers this kind of guarantee. Well, I bet they don't. Why buy this business? Because it works. And here he says, clearly, I can't tell you too much about it here for obvious reasons. But the business works because it is extremely simple. So I don't really think there's anything we can learn from this particular website. Uh, but it's a typical website that you would find on eBay making outlandish claims doesn't tell you how you're going to make forty thousand dollars in a month 
It's an FAQ here. So really, there's nothing uh, that we can learn here. And it's not the sort of websites that we'd want to be involved in. So we'll go back and look at uh, another site. Here's another one. $140,000 established internet website. Actually, that sounds like as though it could be the same guy from the previous uh, website because he was claiming $140,000 in a year. Uh, and that's gone for 395. So again, it's clearly there's nothing that we want to get involved in there. Next one down looks like a website, Captain America statue ships worldwide. Not something we'd properly uh, bother with. Adult website, again, not, we're not to uh, tend not to get involved in the adult uh, websites. Here we got one, uh, an established diet and weight loss blog niche website, $57. But again, not a very uh, uh, high sale there. It's got 12 bids and only $57. Here we've got an established exercise and fitness tips blog website, $36. Next website down, make money from home, flipping websites, telling you how to flip websites, $15. Here we've got a, an NFL one, established NFL football video blog website. 31 bids, so a lot of activity on it. But again, only went for $36. Now if you've got 31 bids on a website, that you were selling on Flipper, you'd certainly expect it to go for more than $36. Again, fashion tips blog here, $38, three bids. So I hope you can see the pattern that we're getting from eBay. The, the sites really don't sell for much more than $30, $40, even lower really. Here's one, Beauty Tips website, $7. If I just scroll down, there was just one site I wanted to show you guys. Just wanted to show you guys this dog health supplies shop. Actually went for twenty-seven dollars. And if we have a look inside at the uh, auction description, we can see that he's done a very good job actually with the auction description, which you don't often see on eBay. He's got very nice graphics. This is uh, very nicely put together. And he's obviously spent some time on the images, getting the images together and getting them laid out. Here we go, a nice image of a dog and a good screenshot of the website, very clear. Then you can obviously go to a, a demo of the site. Offering a website and hosting. And then more information about the site here. We can see product pages, videos. They've included videos directly from YouTube. Display the most popular videos on your chosen topic. So it goes into a lot of depth. 
and lays everything out very clearly but it still only went for what was it $27 fully automated website members only content professionally designed multiple income streams so again all nice images nice graphics well laid out but unfortunately I only sold for that $27 so I think that's enough of looking at eBay that uh, if you are tempted to try and sell a site on eBay then uh, I would think very hard about it because clearly uh, it's just uh, not a site really where you're going to get the best price for your website so let's go and have a look at a couple of sites on Flipper I wanted to show you this particular site, PetCareForLife.com. It's actually established March 2014, so a very new site. However, what he's done is put a rare 13-year-old domain name, and he's put "must see buy it now." So a nice auction title there, which catches the eye, and he got $247 for it. So again, that's very good going. So if we have a look at the auction description, as you can see here, $247, one bid. Looks like it just went for the buy it now. It was only uh, up for less than a day. And if we have a look at the description itself, again, it gets these action points in right at the top of the auction description these seven or eight uh, highlights of why the site's worth buying uh, professionally designed website that should be with a hundred percent you see he's, he's shortened with that's meant to be w-i-t-h you'd be better writing it out in full rather than uh, shortening that but nevertheless he's put uh, he's got in there original custom design uh, then the main highlight that it's a rare premium Google age domain 13 years old hot in demand niche which it is video website hundreds of videos that can be automatically updated easy to operate good buy it now so he's really highlighting, highlighting that there's plenty of buy it now bonuses uh, what he's done as well which is really good you can click on here and see his other websites that are available for sale talks about why a video website <coughs> as we all know YouTube's very popular at the moment and that spelling stake here should be Google again so before you uh, always check your auction descriptions for spelling mistakes <laughs> excuse me Google owns YouTube so yep Google does love uh, video and video websites so a nice description there talks that we're talking about videos talks a bit more about the domain name it's a premium age domain name <coughs> Again, a lot of descriptions about, uh, or a lot of text about domain names and why they're important. And the website features talks about the design, talks about it's 100% original, which is difficult to believe. I can't believe he's actually scripted everything from the ground upwards. But as you can see, it's a very good description, and you, if you've got a website to sell, you wouldn't go far wrong uh, following how he's uh, put together his description here. Obviously, not copying it, but using a, a similar format. Format talks about what the winning bidder will receive, and here talks about the buy it now bonuses. So some good buy it now bonuses. Expands on it. This is something that I often talk about, how to expand on your buy it now bonuses. 
talks about the 50 plus ebook collection which if you're going to give away 50 ebooks and uh, why not list them uh, make it even more attractive talks about bite now bonus unique content traffic package deal giveaway SEO training package adding more videos so again good description quite a good description I should say uh, of the bite now bonuses and you can see got a nice $247 for it so if we just have a quick look at the uh, the website typical video website obviously pulling these videos all from YouTube done a little header here uh, hasn't spent too much time on it there could easily get that done for five dollars on Fiverr with no problem and if we have a look at the theme we can see here the th here's the theme that he's using and uh, if you guys want to have a look you can uh, go and have a look there for that particular theme so yeah I thought that was interesting $247 in less than 24 hours and he did a, g a good job there and just before I go just wanted to have one uh, site to show everyone was this automated news site with Am Amazon affiliate store again went for over $200 $215 established again in March 2014 newsturn.net I think it's called $215 can see here a screenshot of the site again sold in what basically two days got a few links and it, it's one of these sites that posts news articles so he's got a, a WordPress plugin that posts news articles for you there's quite a few around and these seem to go down very well when you're selling websites you can get uh, a plugin that uh, posts articles automatically or videos automatically or news articles automatically then it seems to go down well because it gives the impression to any potential buyer that they haven't got to do anything to the site. Now, often with these uh, automatic or automatic uh, posting plugins, you do have to do a lot of setup and you do have to watch them uh, and configure them. But of course, it doesn't really go into any depth about that on here. Uh, and you can see the auction description. Quite a good auction description here. A uh, bit plain could really do with some headings that uh, that we actually saw on the last site it's all just one big block of text talks about here how Amazon affiliate store pages work so he's starting to break it up here a spelling mistake here guys so again uh, that's quite a big one in the title doesn't look very good uh, so yeah it starts to break up the text here but he should have done that a lot earlier and if we scroll down main features now this this is what I wanted to show you uh, main features of newsturn.net he should have put this right at the top He's put this about virtually at the bottom of his auction description. Get your main features and highlights of your auction at the top of your auction description, not uh, not at the bottom. Uh, so yeah, that's what I really wanted to show you guys on that particular site. Uh, and then again, he does a, a better job here of breaking up the text. So really, what I wanted to show you was that. Uh, don't do blocks of text like this certainly not right at the top of your auction description uh, he wants his uh, where he started to split everything out he wanted that at the top here
So I hope you've enjoyed those case studies for this week. And I'll talk to you guys next week. Bye for now.